Hi there again, this is Alicia Sepp. Um, I'm gonna show you a video on how to export from CINAHL Complete to RefWorks. This can also be utilized if you're using the EBSCO platform on Medline and also on Academic Search Complete. Now once you get in here, you'll just wanna put in a search term. I'm using nurse administrator and meth methodology or ease. Sorry, it's a bit slow. One thing to note if you haven't seen my other videos, it um, gives a lot of information on how to do. Um, um, asterisks, things like that. So I brought back results. Now one thing you can do is you can um, put each article that you want to export into a folder and then come up here to this folder option right here and um, you can export it from there. But if you're just doing one every now and then and you don't plan to send a lot of articles to RefWorks from this account, just click on the title and um, there's an export button right there. First, I wanna show you something I um, can show in other videos, but the site feature is so helpful. Um, my undergrad students really love it because it's really quick. It's not so helpful for keeping and collecting um, the citations, but it's definitely helpful to, uh, for you to have this kind of um, access to the citation immediately. So um, there it is. Again, like RefWorks, it's not 100% perfect. You'll want to check through it and make sure everything's accurate before you actually uh, use it to submit um, to your professor. And make sure you do that hanging indent. Now I'm going to click on Export. Now you have about a half dozen options, including EndNote, if you happen to have in regular uh, software for EndNote. And then what we're looking for is the direct export for RefWorks. And if you click there, click Save. And once you've signed in, you'll have to sign in. You'll um, click on View Last Imported Folder to see exactly what you just exported into RefWorks. And that is the final step there. Um, please let me know if you have any questions, concerns, you're having problems exporting from an account. Sometimes it's a pop-up blocker. Try taking out your pop-up blocker and also if you're having problems, it could be your cookies and cash. Try doing that and then um, you can contact me and we'll walk through it and see what may be happening. Also, trying a different browser can sometimes really be helpful. Thank you.